Welcome back to Beat Up Builds. I've got a short one for you. I got this battery charger really cheap. Um, it didn't work. But I noticed that, you know, usually when I feel a battery charger, like put my hand on it, it kind of like vibrates a little bit, like very, very, very slightly. Um, and this one was vibrating. So I got the multimeter out. I uh, put it on the you know, the two alligator clamps that go on your battery, and there's nothing, nothing, nothing at all. So my first instinct was, hey, you know, maybe the the wire got yanked out or something, you know, disconnected. So I pulled the cover off, everything looked fine, but then I saw it had this right here, and I've already taken it out. But what this thing is right here is it's a little circuit breaker, basically. So if you draw too many amps, it'll open up the circuit, and then it'll automatically reset. So I did a continuity test of this. No continuity. Uh, this should have continuity. So no continuity there. And then I said, well, just to confirm that this is the issue, let me pull it apart. So I popped it apart. This is how one of these things works. It's missing the contact. It melted off. But normally this is touching. And if it gets hot, it pulls away. So if you draw too many amps, it pulls away. Super simple, really cool. Um, this one, they mark them so they make it easy. This one is 12 volts, 35 amps. Um, I couldn't find a cheap 35 amp one, so I got a 30 amp one. I figure a little bit less, if anything, it'll trip a little sooner. Keep from ruining the battery charger. And honestly, this has the higher amperage one. That you can set it to when you're trying to start the car. Um, so, I really think that's the only place I'd have issue anyway. And honestly, most of the time I use the 2 amp or the middle, whatever the middle setting is. Uh, most of the time. So, I'm going to put this in here and we'll see if it fixes it. Alright, we got it installed in there. Um, I don't know, five or six bucks from Amazon shipped. Charger, I, I think honestly I paid like two bucks for it, to be honest. Um, let's plug it in and see if it works. Bear with me here. All right. We got something. I don't know if it's only 10 because there's no load. Let's try the middle setting. Yeah, be careful too when you got the cover off. Don't go poking your finger in there. Okay, interesting. So that's working. That'll charge a battery. Easy. Two amp setting is a little lower. I wonder if that's because there's no load. Maybe it's uh, throttling it back. We can test that. All right, so I got a junky old battery hooked up, and now we're charging. So I just needed a load on it. So yeah, for five bucks, fix the battery charger. Don't throw away your stuff that doesn't work. Take it apart and see what the heck's wrong with it.